Welcome back, guys. This is Doug with Basement Level Magic, and we are back for round two. Uh, we'll play first, I think. Um, yeah, we're drawing a lot of these hands with no action. I think it's fine. We don't know what we're up against. Um, and we can draw a lot of things to make this hand better. But it's not what I would want. I would want at least one two drop. I would want my opponent to not do anything as well. Oh, there we go. Just got better. Hopefully he doesn't have a two drop of his own. Unlikely, playing white though. He does have one, and it's better than ours. <laughs> Hopefully he's not playing blue-white flyers. So I think here the core side master is actually a better three drop for us because it can attack in and he might be willing to trade it. And we can gain a little life this turn if he doesn't attack, or if he does. Opponent did not hit his land drop. It's ideal. Um, so I guess we offer the trade now. Oh, it's not a trade. So yeah, why would he take it? Yeah, I think that's fine. Now we need some action. Desperately. <laughs> Opponent did not hit his land drop again, but we cannot do anything to punish him for it. Whew. So mana flood versus mana screw. Whatever we eventually draw, I guess we can play it, but unfortunately, at this point, there's nothing we can really do. I mean, we can try and sneak some damage through. Which, that'll only work once. <laughs> You'll know better next turn. Uh, drawing a Searing Light would be okay. Ouch. I mean, that's a lot of draws without hitting a land. Jeez, that's a lot of draws only hitting the lands. <laughs> uh, I guess there's nothing we can really do. Eventually we'll be able to play something. Anything in our deck, really. All right, so opponent's also playing green. Uh, I was gonna say I'm tempted to just hold that. It seems like such a bad trade though to just send in the uh, sky spawner just to attack with everything and get in three damage. I guess this way we'll just gain some more life. Eventually our flyers will take over if we draw some more. So he finally hit his green and he's still oh I was gonna say he still doesn't have anything he can play. Or he can't decide what to play. Ah, Pilgrim's Eye. That'll get him out of this this mess. So we got an unfortunate draw. I think if we had drawn any kind of like bigger flyer, we would have already taken over this game. Oops. So we gain our life. Try to draw something. Uh See what he chooses to block here. If anything, I was hoping he put the pilgrims down as well. Um, I think actually that's going to be fine.
as our opponent still has nothing on the board. So he was actually missing two colors. So I don't know if he's just playing a super greedy mana base or what. He's at five lands now, though. So he should be able to start playing some really big threats. I don't know if he's like trying to play Converge. Alone Larva. Super interesting deck. So far I don't get it, I have to say. He needs a lot of mana, whatever he's doing. So I guess we have Giant Eldrazi to look forward to. I suppose the life is probably more valuable than the attack into a 1-3, so I'd rather tap for for the life. I'm very curious what he's playing, that he needs all this mana. It must be big. Hopefully it'll be too late by the time he has it. It's definitely not like a Eldrazi, he's not, he doesn't have any colorless mana. So it's either just a big green creature or... Hmm. A rot shambler? Yeah, I don't know. That caster spider is going to be a good one against us. This gets, uh, what, plus two plus O? Oh. So I think we want to play the Expedition Raptor. We want to buff up the uh, Sky Spawner for sure, because we want to get a block from the Netcaster Spider. And then I guess the Entangler as well. As I don't think we'll be attacking with the War Cleric. Anyway, uh, he doesn't have super good blocks for the Entangler either, and we're still holding two cards, so he may expect a trick if we attack with both. Pono chooses to take six. Huh. All right. I mean, I guess if I were him, I would have assumed we had a trick too. But he needs to play some threats. He hasn't played any threats. It was almost worth getting the Netcaster Spider killed just to put some counters on the Rot Shambler. Oh, I see. He was waiting for a Relief Cap and he didn't want to lose a creature because he would have lost value. He still doesn't have great attacks, though. Neither do we now, though. Uh, but we can just tap down the netcaster spider and get in for a ton of damage. So that spawn butter mage is actually quite a good draw. So he's got to hit some. He's got to hit us this turn, and we'll probably just take any damage that comes across. Because the only thing keeping us back really is the netcaster. I'm gonna get in for five this turn. Ooh, never mind. I'm most surprised by how many isolation zones are actually in a draft. If 
Unfortunately, we only had one of those. This may be a matchup since he's playing a bunch of reach creatures um, where we do want to bring in our colorless stuff. Hmm. Yeah, still not attacking, sadly. And another flyer, that's a bummer. So he's green-white flyers, I don't, I don't know what he's playing black for, I guess for the Cliffhaven Vampire? Um, I guess we take the damage. Uh, we negate two of it. Uh, he's got a long way to go, though. Uh, so here, still no good attacks. Uh, but he's at nine. Um, so we build out our board enough with enough flyers, eventually we'll just be able to get past his two blockers. We need more tappers. Although we haven't seen any colors, man. I guess we had two scions we could have been tapping down with. We haven't seen any of our removal either, though. We do have some pretty good removal. We got two isolation zones of our own. So he doesn't have a land, so that's fine. We're okay with that. Right? So he can do two damage to us a turn this way. Blighted Cataract is an excellent draw. So he's got two blockers, one of which we kill. If we decide to fly in with everything, but one of which gets to kill one of our flyers. So let's say we attack. He blocks the biggest one he can. So he blocks the the Avenger and the Expedition Raptor. So we can't attack with both. Uh, currently, we only get in five damage. And then he can attack back with everything. I probably can't actually. Uh, I said we take one more turn and see what we draw with the Blighted Cataract. See if he's saving it. Don't think it was worthwhile. Oh, geez, another netcaster. Yeah, things are getting rough. Hmm. Well, that seems all right. Uh, so, sadly, we're still at 20. Let's say we play both of these. So we play one for five and one for three. We have a perfect amount of mana. Uh, so let's say we got in for... 
and we're technically at a 22 life. Let's say we attack with only three power creatures. That fly. Let's say we only attack with these three. Oh, we can't add flying to it. Shit. If we can remove two of the flying blockers, though, I think it's still probably worthwhile. I didn't count in the mana for that sky climber. I should have attacked with. Yeah, that's fine. That was expected. Does he just take six? God, that'd be amazing. Yeah, that was that was a mess up though. I still think we're in an okay position. We get to kill his netcaster. some significant damage here pretty soon. But he's at six, so he'd probably be a little hesitant to attack. And we can do the same play this turn we did last turn. Well Marvel will leave alone, don't care. Tempted to trade off the relief captain. Anything that doesn't fly, I think we can get rid of now. I do want to gain the life. give him an opportunity to use any more of his uh, combat tricks if possible. So flyers seem less good against this guy for sure. We'll put in our both of our tappers. Oh man, that's rough. It's rough but I still don't think that card's any good. That card's good. Now that I know that, I don't want to put the relief captain in the graveyard. It's much more innocuous on the on the battlefield. Is that the right word? Can't hurt me. So did you put it on, okay, you put it on a flyer. Still a 2-4. I don't have a hard time winning this game. We got out slow. If we got out a little faster, we would have been okay. So he's primarily green-white. Green-white anti-flyers. <laughs> attack this turn. To finally hit a land. That's nice for him. So I assume he presents lethal here. Maybe 
back his flyers. So at this point, if I live, what can I get in for? So I, I can, let's see, I am looking at taking three, six, uh, so 11, 15, 18, 20. So in order to live, I have to block, and I'm at 16. So I can block just the rot shambler and live. Dampening Pulse is nice, but it's I'd rather he didn't see it, to be honest, because I don't think it changes anything. He's got two blockers. I can only do maximum five damage, so I think we just concede. That's a bummer. We got out so slow. Uh, so we want to look at Blinding Drone, Woodland. Rush of Ice even would have been pretty good there. Slip of slip through space would have been good there. Uh, clutch of Currents would have been good there. Searing Light was good. Expedition Envoy, not so good. Um, Crab will be good, actually. I wish they just dropped him where I put him. Um, so two more cuts, I think. Osri can come out. He doesn't seem all that great. Nor does the Alpha Protector. I think that's probably better. So we'll give that a shot. Looks like somebody dropped. Went one and one, got a buy. Definitely don't want to go one and one. I think this deck is good. I think this guy just has the perfect like counter to our deck. It's like a flying deck <laughs> that uh or an anti-flying deck versus our flying deck. It's like ridiculous. Hmm. No actual gas. I mean I guess we keep it. It's not like he got out fast or anything. But it's not what we were looking for. <laughs> That's a little better. There we go. Hopefully his greedy mana base is going to punish him again. Well, not so bad. I actually can't <laughs> surge because I don't have anything to cast my slip through space on. Uh, we'll just yield and cast it next turn if we need to. Now we can awaken the clutch. to just do that um, and then we can slip through space next turn get in for at least three and cast our Jor while Avenger why not 3-3 three, three looks pretty good on this board too
Yeah, very tough matchup. A second 3 3 on the board. I think we're good with that. We want to get rid of anything that flies. And we want to get rid of anything that can double block us. Actually, isolation zone has isolation zone. Which is an interesting option. <laughs> He has any really threatening creatures right now. That certainly isn't one. So let's go ahead and attack first. flyer back get my blocker back we need to draw some gas though it's where we were last game now I might attack with just that. Yeah, that seems all right. Yeah, please put something on top. I'd love it if you draw land next turn. I would love it if I didn't draw land next turn. What did he do it on me? <laughs> um. Let's see. That's really for lack of any other better play that I would do that. And I'll probably trade this, or just chump the Scion. Immolating Glare is a very good card. I don't think I saw any in the draft. I think it's definitely first pickable. So I'm not surprised I didn't see any. Prevent three damage. If we're racing, we're racing. Let's just keep it going. Netcaster, that's bad. Spawning bed? I mean, we're going to play it because we want to have access to some colorless mana if we draw something better. But we're really in trouble now. We're taking 10 next turn if we attack. <laughs> yeah, so we can't attack. That's just sad. The opponent just had the perfect deck against us. Like, who is honestly... Like, I, there's not even that many flyers. Who is main decking all these netcaster spiders? <laughs> it definitely worked out for him. Uh, yeah, I mean... 
mean, I don't think we can take five. The land can yield some value here. Hmm. I think it might be too little too late here. If we had opened our hand with one of those and some mana to use it, I think we probably would have won the game. But I mean, we have two of them and three colorless sources. There's a good chance to see one or the other, I guess. Not necessarily both. so much toughness. It's like the ultimate toughness deck. No, 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 that's wrong. Three. I mean, we're just hanging on by the skin of our teeth here. <laughs> there's not, uh, there's not a lot we're gonna be able to do. We need a big creature right now, and it has to be a flyer, really. Yeah, I mean that's that's sick. I don't think this card's any good. I I don't think I would play it, but against us in this situation, just sick. Bonbinder Mage with no ally to back it up. Yeah, that's game, guys. Thanks for watching. This has been Doug with Basement Level Magic. Uh, unfortunately, just nothing we can do with this deck in this particular instance. Uh, it was the absolute perfect deck to go up against us. He was playing just <laughs> all kinds of flyers and reach creatures um, with huge toughness and, you know, low power, but, I mean, the Netcaster Spider is the perfect card, and we know he has at least multiples. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll see you guys for round three. Thanks for watching.